Good day everyone. Learn how to fix Windows update error problems. Updating Windows is very important because if your computer is not updated, your computer will be surely in a vulnerable state. So it is always advisable to update your Windows. And here we are going to fix all kinds of Windows update errors. The only thing is we need to do all these steps in a sequence wise. It will be a satisfying process. Have little patience and let's do it together. So the very first thing here is to click on the search icon and type file. You will find the best match file explorer and we will click on that. Now here we need to go to this PC and this will work on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So here the very first thing we need to check where exactly our operating system is installed and how much space we have. So let's say if you have 5, 6 or 2 GB space remaining, I mean very less space remaining, you will not be able to update your windows. So once you're assured that yes, you have enough space, at least 20 to 50 GB is the minimum requirement. Space, free space. Right. So once you're done, we will move to the next step. If you have less space, then please make sure you have free up the space and then we'll move to the next step. So the next step is to do the troubleshoot. Windows 11, Windows 10 has a troubleshooter which we will run and uh, just after doing that we will not update the windows because we will update the windows after doing all the steps. All right. So here in the search icon, type troubleshoot. You will find the best match, troubleshoot settings. So here you will find a um, lot of options and we need to click on other troubleshooters. And I will click on that. And under most frequent or under other, you will find Windows Update. So we need to run it. Now this will try to detect the problems. If you have any issues with the Windows Update, this will try to check and restart the services, the essential services which is required to update the Windows. All right. I'll cancel it. And once you're done, we will move to the next step. So the next is we will run some commands which will repair the computer. If there is a corruption in the windows, then also windows update, you know, issues are there. So we will click on search icon and we will type CMD. So we are going to repair the windows any which way it is very good for the computer. Right. So once you type CMD, we will click on run as administrator. And then we will click on yes. And you will see the administrator command prompt. All right. This please make sure you run as administrator because we need the command prompt with administrative rights. And here I'll mention a command in the description which you can simply copy. The first is DISM command, which is a Microsoft command, and you just need to hit enter DISM.exe forward slash space forward slash online cleanup image restore help the moment you will hit enter it will start deployment image servicing and management tool it will start scanning the computer and you just need to wait once this is i'll close it because i'm just showing you how we can do that once this is done this might take two to five minutes or more than that so please how you know do not close it and let the scan happen all right. Once this is done, again open the command prompt in the same manner by searching CMD and by running as administrator. And this time we will run a next command which is SFC scan now. This is also a Microsoft command system file checker command and we just need to type it SFC space forward slash scan now and i will hit enter once you do that it will begin the system scan and this also might take two to five minutes 
or more than that depends on the computer and once this is done we will move to the next step now this also scans and replaces uh, if there is a corruption if there is a bug or if there is any missing files in the windows especially uh, the operating system this will be replaced and repaired so once this is done you need to move to the next step now the next step is uh, very tricky so if you have a antivirus i mean a third party antivirus so we need to check it right here i do not use any third party however if you are using a third party antivirus at the bottom right corner where you have this show hide icons you just need to expand it look for your um the computer icon here and uh, i mean the antivirus icon not the windows one if you have any third party just do a right click on that and then just try to disable it for 30 minutes or 15 minutes or you can do it until restart because sometimes a uh, third party security also block the windows update that can be happen so for a time being for a temporary basis you can disable it and then we will move to the next step the next step is to check the wi-fi so if you're using a wi-fi 2.4 gigahertz try to connect to your if you have 5 or 6 gigahertz just click on the arrow icon look for the other uh, wi-fi i mean your wi-fi connection you might be using you might be having 5 gigahertz uh, network so try to connect to your higher uh, bandwidth connection like uh, the 5 gigahertz or 6 gigahertz connection and once you ensure that yes you have connected to the maximum level um, and then we just need to restart the computer and once it is restarted then just do a right click in the start icon go to settings and click on windows update and click on check for updates you can also search in the search icon windows update and you will find check for updates now the moment you click on check for updates please do let me know in the comment section after the restart you were able to update your windows or not all right because for most of us this will fix the problem and you will be able to update your windows and if this tutorial is helpful please do let me know in the comment section because your comments really motivates me and if you have any issues uh, do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help all right so please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day take care